So we've looked at our primary survey, assessing for anything life-threatening. I'm just going to talk a little bit about a secondary survey. So that's something that you might do for a conscious casualty, or it could be an unconscious casualty as well. So your secondary survey consists of looking at your history, signs and symptoms. So the history might be the history of the casualty, so perhaps any medical conditions that they've had that could link to why they're um, a casualty at the moment. Uh, it could be any medication that they're on or literally the history leading up to what's just happened, so any physical activity or an accident of some kind that they've just had. Then we're going to look at the signs, so what can you visually see? Can you see that the casualty is perhaps sweaty? Do they look pale, flushed in appearance? Uh, do they have any cuts or any obvious deformity or broken bones? And that can all help piece together what you're dealing with. You've then got symptoms, so that's something that the casualty can tell you, so it's really important that you listen to your casualty if they're able to speak to you. So they may tell you that they feel sick, that they feel hot, they feel cold. Uh, you know, anything, any information they can give you can help uh, determine how to treat them. 